Hello and welcome back to another unboxing with the lizard. Uh, oh, uh-oh, there she goes. She's, oh no, don't move the microphone, dear. Oh, she licked the mouse. Oh, you couldn't see it. It was really uh, quite sensual. Uh, I'm just going to stick you back there. Uh, so today we have uh, one of the more, I would say, legitimately exciting unboxings that we've ever had on this here channel. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the, I can't move your tail out of the way, dear. We're going to be on I got to move the light out of the way too. The this inside this box is the 2019 PNSL uh Spinosaurus scientific art statue or SEN the Spinosaurus. Uh, assumably that assumably that's how you pronounce the name. Presumably, assumably, screw it. Uh they like to give all their figures cute little names. It's great. Uh so this is my first uh foray into PNSO. This is my first foray. Foray. <laughs> this is my first foray into something that can be considered an actual statue and not just a model. Uh, so this is fairly exciting. The most I've ever spent on a single uh, self-contained piece of plastic, and uh, if it is made of plastic, it might be made of another material like resin or something. I'm not entirely sure. This is pretty darn well packaged thus far, which is good because it came a long way to get here. Oh my lord. And there you have it. There is the PNSO Scientific Art Spinosaurus statue uh, still in the box. But the packaging is really neat. It's a lot more than a prehistoric animal model collector like me typically expects because most of the things I buy just come plain as they are, maybe with a tag at most. This is kind of a lot. Look at that. A whole bunch of stuff I can't read. Some stuff I can. Uh, Caution's Product Information, PNSO Dinosaurs Museum 135 Scale Spinosaurus. Uh, I believe an argument can be made um, that this is larger than 135, but yeah, whatever. Ages three and above, that's interesting. That's a lower age range than I would expect, but I think that's just a a verbal confirmation of the quality of the thing, so that's good. Uh, material PVC, there you go. I was wondering about that. So, not technically plastic, but uh, rather what your plumbing pipes are made out of, because that makes sense. Wow, all right. So we're into the box. As you can see, we have some extremely exciting styrofoam. This is good though. I respect high quality packaging a lot because damage to this type of thing irritates me greatly. So we have a little booklet, assumably with information about the genus, perhaps about this model specifically. Very, very neat. I'll look at it in my own time, but I know you all don't really care about that. What you care about is what's underneath this foam. And my goodness, this is quite a thing, isn't it? Here we are. There, with a little tray to keep his legs from warping. Very nice packaging detail as well. Here is Essien, the 135 scale PNSO Scientific Art Spinosaurus, brand new for 2019. Off to the side, also quite well packed, is the base for the figure, which has a large dead Oh boy, I gotta pronounce this name. Angstapriestus? It's a prehistoric fish. It's one of those names. One of the very few names that I just don't feel like I can really pronounce properly, to be honest. Uh, but there you have that. That looks beautiful as well. Compared to, you know, a company like Collecta, 
that uh, gets criticized quite often for having bases that are just basically a tan blob. Uh, a base with this much detail and craftman craftsmanship uh, put into it. Oh, wow. Okay, this is wonderful. The bottom is fairly plain, but that's fine. No one's going to see that. And there you have it. Uh, I'm not going to give you too close of a look at this. This is not a review. Um, but in terms of initial first impressions and just some baseline thoughts, it's an absolutely gorgeous piece, and it's it's really well done. You can tell a lot of work goes into this stuff, and it's it's worth the price, in my opinion, despite how high the price is. Um, obviously, this type of, uh, again, model isn't really the right word. This type of artistic piece is not for everyone just because of the price and the amount of space it takes up and such. And for a long time, I kind of resisted this sort of stuff, and I sort of... Uh, uh, it, it just wasn't something that interested me in particular. I didn't want to spend that much money, I didn't want to have that much room taken up by just a few figures, but PNSO has kind of turned me around on statues, because while there have been companies in the past that have made good, large-scale models and statues for dinosaurs and prehistoric animals and such, I just feel like PNSO is putting in the most work in terms of the science and the anatomy. There's really only one questionable anatomical choice on this particular figure, which we can get into when I do a full review video for it, which I will. And uh, as far as quality control stuff, the only thing to mention is that one of the spines on the neck is slightly bent over, uh, but that should be fairly easy to fix under some hot water. So uh, it may even warp back over time on its own, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is really quite exciting and just a, just a fantastic, beautiful piece of art to look at. So thank you so much to PNSO for creating this. Thanks to ye olde Amazon for shipping it over. And thanks to our co-host, as usual, she did a ton and uh, totally put in her fair share of work, obviously. Way more than you did, that's that's for sure. Um, so uh, anyhow, uh, that is about it. Uh, this is Essien the Spinosaurus, review coming soon and what have you. Thank you for watching and Bionicle Saurus signing out. Thank you.